Good morning everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Ahmad Zaya Abdul Wahab, I am a Diagnostic and Interventional Radiologist in Resgari Teaching Hospital and the Department of Radiology in Erbil. Uh, welcome to the Daily Tips, today we are going to talk about a very common uh, pathology that is uh, usually, usually seen in pediatric age group and that is the vesicourotary reflux. The vesicourotary reflux is a congenital abnormality. It happens when the ureter, which, should, which normally tracks, tracks into the urinary bladder wall for a few centimeters before, in, in an oblique kind of way, before it enters into the lumen of the urinary bladder. Uh, this uh, ureter, uh, when it tracks for a shorter uh, length, uh, result in abnormal function of the uh, vesicourotic junction. Normally, the vesicourotic junction prevents the, ur the urine from refluxing or going back into the kidney. While in when the uh, length of the intra uh, intra vesical ureter, let's say, in the part of the ureter that is within the wall of the urinary bladder, when it is shorter, this will result in uh, possible reflux of urine into the kidney. The urine will go down into the urinary bladder and can go up again into the kidney. This is what's called vesicourotic reflux. There are uh, different grades grading for the severity of the reflux uh, that is uh, the determines what is the proper management for each case. And this uh, is a, a decision of the patient, family, the urosurgeon and according to the severity of the condition. So, regarding the grading, the normal uh, pattern of uh, vesicourotic anatomy, let's say, is uh, when the, you have this ureter, and the ureter goes into the urinary bladder, uh, through, uh, the ureter go oblique, in, a, in an oblique fashion, oblique way, through the wall of the urinary bladder, and opens into the lumen of the urinary bladder. This is the normal anatomy. And when the length of the ureter in the wall of the urinary bladder is short, this will result in abnormally uh, abnormal function of the vesicourotic uh, junction. Where the urine will be able to go back into the renal collecting system. So this is what's called grade one reflux. When the urine goes back, it goes into the ureter for a variable uh, length, uh, will result in maybe mild hydronephrosis, hydrouretar mild, but it does not go back into the pelvic calicial system. It does not go all the way back into the kidney. This usually grade one will, uh, usually with time it will resolve, it will uh, be normal, uh, restored to normal again. So, uh, usually you wait and see for this kind of uh, reflux. Regarding grade 2, when the urine goes back all the way into the urinary bladder and uh, fills the pelvic calicial system, but there is no hydronephrosis, there is no dilatation of the renal pelvis or the uh, renal calices. Okay, this is a grade 2 vesicourotic reflux. Uh, while grade 3, when there is reflux of the urine all the way back into the kidney with some mild dilatation of the ureter and the pelvic calicial system. The, you see just mild hydroureteronephrosis, not severe. This is grade 3 uh, vesicourotic reflux, while grade 4, grade 4 is there is reflux of the urine all the way back into the kidney uh, with the fornices will be blunted. Usually you see in grade 3 and below, you can see the fornices are preserved. Okay, it's the, the, the shape of the fornices is a preserved. While in grade 4, the fornices will be blunted, it will be blown up, uh, dilated, uh, lost its normal shape. And the ureter will become tortuous and moderately dilated. You can see there is abnormal uh, tortuous appearance of the ureter. While in grade 5, the ureter is tortuous, markedly dilated, and the furnaces are completely lost. The papillary impressions are lost. It's just a bag of urine, uh, and you might see even cortical thinning sometimes. 
and how do we know this great this grades by uh, using what's called a, a retrograde uh, urethrography uh, voiding uh, voiding cystography or voiding cystourethrography well what's the important really here is the voiding cystography not cystourethrography because the urethra is not of our primary concern our primary concern is the cystography and the ureter let's say urethrography to some extent so what do we do here uh, in uh, in uh, voiding cystourethrography we inject contrast in the urinary bladder okay via fo via foley catheter fill it and look for the any signs of the contrast material reflexing into the kidney and when it reflexes into the kidney we can grade it and we determine the uh, severity of the reflux and the uh, important thing here is to make sure that you image the patient during increased intra abdominal and intra vesical pressure and how do we increase intra vesical pressure simply by voiding you uh, fill the urinary bladder with contrast to make sure it's full uh, and to make sure that the intra vesical pressure is high and then you remove the foley catheter and ask the patient to void to urinate on the table during the exam during exposure to make sure there is if there is any reflux okay so for example in this case you can see there is evidence of reflux of contrast material into the pelvic elicial system all the way into the kidney however the kidney is not hydrofrost it's not dilated the fornices are preserved the papillary impressions are preserved indicating grade 3 reflux in this case you can see it's a child and they are using a diaphragm uh, on the pelvis to protect the genitalia from the radiation uh, you can see also here there is reflux of contrast back into the kidney all the way up bilaterally on both sides okay and you can see that there is on the right side the ureter is of normal caliber the pelvis is of normal caliber there is no uh, obliteration of the fornices and uh, the renal papillary impression are, is preserved indicating grade 3 while on the left side there is some dilatation of the pelvic elicial system indicating grade 4 again in this case you can notice bilateral vesicoureteric reflux the urine is refluxing all the way back up into the kidney on both sides and you can determine whether there is hydrophosis or not you can see in this case it's bilateral and you can see on the right side there is some obliteration of the calluses mild hydronephrosis indicating grade 4 while on the left side the pelvic calicial system is acceptable indicating grade 3 what about this case this is case of the bilateral vesicoureteric reflux obviously it is severe on both sides okay and uh, the ureters are dilated tortuous and there is bilateral hydroeuteronephrosis the calluses are obliterated blunted the, the fornices are not seen uh, the whole, both kidneys are markedly dilated uh, the pelvic calicial system of both kidney is markedly dilated indicating bilateral grade 5 vesicoreteric reflux that is a severe reflux again the same thing here you can see and this is an oblique projection you can see the how the ureter is dilated tortuous with blunting of the calluses bilaterally indicating grade 5 vesicoreteric reflux uh, another way you can see the vesicoreteric reflux is by ultrasound you can see the kidney the right kidney here it's dilated the blunted calluses okay and what you can do is uh, you go down into the vesicoreteric junction and you can see the dilated ureter indicating that the abnormality is at the vesicoreteric junction not at the uh, pelvic ureteric junction the here you can say whether it can be vesicoreteric reflex or can be pelvic ureteric junction stenosis because you don't see the ureter while here in the near the urinary bladder when you see the ureter dilated definitely the abnormality is at the vesico ureteric junction what you can do here you ask the patient to void on the table with your probe on the urinary bladder you put a color doppler and obviously you can see the reflux this is the normal flow of the urine into the urinary bladder in a red color 
towards the probe while during voiding the, there is obvious reflux of urine back into the ureter confirming there is a vesico ureteric reflux another example you can see the urine here in the urinary bladder is turbid and uh, multiple internal echoes indicating uh, yani, um, indicating uh, uti urinary tract infection the urine is turbid uh, it's not clear and you can see the direction of the flow of urine in uh, without uh, voiding and with voiding is different it's red here it's blue here confirming the presence of a zycoureteric reflux this is a case of severe marked bilateral vesicoureteric reflux you can see it is markedly there the, uh, the ureters are markedly dilated tortuous the you uh, the kidneys are fully blown there is no calicia uh, cal impressions of the calices there is no uh, fornices indicating severe grade 5 vasicoureteric reflux again you can see here the same uh, patient okay and you can notice there is uh, evidence of voiding the urine is going out here uh, through the urethra and the reflux is very obvious and the cause in this condition but this particular condition was a posterior urethral valve resulting in obstruction of the urine flow with marked dilatation of the ureters and marked bilateral vesicoureteric reflux this was our daily tip today thank you for listening and hope to see you uh, in another daily tip please if you have any comments if you have any topics that you would like us to talk about Please send me and I will talk about it uh, in the next uh, daily tip. Thank you very much for following me. Please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.